this video I'm going to show you how to use the Pool Lab 1.0 and do the test factors that come with the unit when you purchase it. If you want to see an overview of the unit, watch the previous video I filmed on this that goes over all the details of the Pool Lab 1.0 photometer. First thing you want to do is make sure the unit is clean. Go ahead and dip it in the pool and rinse it. And the Pool Lab 1.0 is completely waterproof, so you can actually dip it in the pool to get the 10 milliliter sample of water. Just go ahead and shake off any excess water until you're at the 10 milliliter mark. And if you choose, you can use a syringe to get the 10 milliliter sample of water for your testing. Okay, the first thing you want to do is turn on the power to the unit by holding the button down in the center. Then you want to get a zero, which is the water sample in here without any of the tablets or reagents. Go ahead and hit the zero button here. Okay, it'll let you know that it's ready for testing. It'll say test on the screen here. Okay, go ahead and remove the cap. I'm going to start with the pH test. You don't want to touch the tablet, so I'm going to go ahead and just push it through here. You can see the tablet in here. We're going to go ahead and break that up and stir it. So things include a stir and crusher and go ahead and break up the tablet. You want to make sure the tablet is completely dissolved before you run the test. Okay, now you want to cover the water sample with the cap. Since we're doing pH, I'm going to go ahead and hit the pH button right here. It'll count down, and then it'll give me the pH reading in this pool. Okay, and the pH reading here is 7.8. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clean it out and get another sample for the alkalinity. Okay, you have the alkalinity tablet. If you're running a series of tests, you don't have to zero it out every time. Just when you initially start it up. Again, don't touch the tablet. I'm going to go ahead and break this one up with the alkalinity. You can see how easy this tester is. All you do is drop a tablet in and break it up. Okay, let me go ahead and cover it. Now I'm going to go ahead and push the total alkalinity button here. It's counting down. Of course, this is not the fastest way to do your water testing, but it's the most accurate. And if the screen displays an OR or UR, this means that the test results are outside the range of the testing method. You can use a syringe and take a 5 milliliter sample of pool water and a 5 milliliter sample of distilled water and test again. Then divide the results in half. Now I'm going to at this pool showing 140. That's a little bit on the high side. I'm going to go ahead and do a test for free chlorine. I'm going to use a DPT1. Let me drop the tablet in there. You can also do a test for combined chlorine and total chlorine next. I'll show you that. Okay, simply cover it and go ahead and hit the free chlorine button. It's marked FCL. And the free chlorine is at 3.7. And to get the total chlorine or combined chlorine, we're going to use the DPT3. Let me drop it in here. You want to go ahead and use the same sample as the free chlorine. Let me break this one up. Again, you can see that I'm using the same water sample that I used for the free chlorine test. You cover that up. And to get the total chlorine reading, you want to hold down the pH and the free chlorine button at the same time. Let me go ahead and do that right now. So this particular test takes the longest. This will give you your total chlorine and I'll show you the combined chlorine. Okay, you can see that the total chlorine is coming in at 3.79, so there's no combined chlorine in this pool. Okay, the last test that comes in the kit is a cyanuric acid test. It'll test up to 160 parts per million. We're going to drop it in. We're going to break it up. So these are the test factors that come when you order the unit. Okay, let me go ahead and cover this up. And I'm going to push the CYA button here. And the CYA here is coming in at 87. So it's a little bit on the high side, but it's acceptable. And included with the Pool Lab 1.0 are some tablets. You have 20 Phenol Red, 20 DPT1, you have 10 DPT3, you have 10 Alkalinity, and you have 10 Cyanuric Acid tests. Of course, you can order refill tabs and also tablets for the other test. 
And you can see how easy and accurate using the Pool Lab 1.0 is to do your water testing. And the Pool Lab 1.0 does a variety of parameters. You can test for a variety of things for your pool and spa water. You can also send the results over to your phone or device using the Lab Connect app and store them on the device. This makes the Pool Lab 1.0 one of the most versatile photometer water testers on the market today.